Did that, really? Was this yeah. from a while ago? Yeah. And I have new things. Well, actually, probably some of them are the same things. So mm -hmm. <laughs> if you already know all this, I'm sorry. But you don't know this one because this is what I'm reading right now, and it's not even out yet. And it's so great. It is called Sal and Gabby Break the Universe. <laughs> now you want to read it. I mean, just look at that title. Um, it's by Carlos Hernandez. It's coming out in March. I'm reading it because I'm going to write something nice to put on the cover. Something along the lines of, I love it so much, and everyone should read it. <laughs> it's about um, a boy who can reach into parallel universes and pull things back into his universe, what? including his dead mom, whenever he wants to. <laughs> but it, she's alive, because she's alive in these other universes, including so he brings peril. her over. Including what? Peril. Peril, wouldn't it? <laughs> And that would be really funny. Um, but so it's a, I just, it's really, Sal is just an amazing character. He's a super sweet boy awesome. um, who's just really mature and like loves magic. Um, not just the real magic he does, but like magic tricks. And he's like a kind of showbiz personality. It's really wonderful. And I'm excited for everyone to read it. What else did I bring? Um, the Wing and Claw series by oh. Linda Sue Park. Have you read these? I've read the first one. Yeah, I've only read the first one. So I got book two and I'm going to read it soon. Um, but these are, I find them really funny. Uh, and really delightful. Um, so I highly right. There's a talking bat who is just the greatest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like it's super funny and, and just really so cute. Is that by a Harazia backpack for sale? <laughs> uh, you have, actually, if you go to her Deviant Art site, it might be. This is so. This is um, what she's talking about is um, an artist named. Well, on Deviant Art, her name is Biohazardia, and I kept getting that wrong. I actually went. I'd forgotten her name for a little while, and I went on, and I was like, Brie Pocalypse? Brie Mageddon? Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's Biohazard, Ia. And, it's, uh, and she did this beautiful art of the dragons um, in, the second, in the, the second arc, in the Thera. Pantella arc. Thera. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> I think of, like, book 11 is kind Does of... Does your agent need an understudy? <laughs> 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 right. um, but anyway, I just thought they were so beautiful. Um, and I just blogged about her, that's why. Um, I wanted to make sure everyone saw it. Um, this is a book by Will Alexander called A Properly Unhaunted Place. Um, he's written some other things too, and I actually highly recommend his audiobooks because he does them himself, and he's like an actor, um, cool. and he just does this really great reading. Like, it just is so compelling. Um, but, I mean, the books are already great, and he adds something to them with like his wonderfulness. <laughs> um, a few books I've talked about before. Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. Oh, I'm going to bring up this one because yeah. I love it so much. <laughs> and it has a great dragon in it. Super funny. Lovable dragon. <laughs> um, Nimona. I talk about this oh, one a lot too because I love it. Is everyone excited? Do you all, guys all know she's doing a She-Ra series? <gasps> she's like bringing back She-Ra. And it's so, I'm so excited. You've, um, got, you've got lots of flags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you flag and stuff when you read or is that just a special case? Uh, yeah, not always. <laughs> I actually uh, led a book club um, about this book with a bunch of kids and so I Especially flagged it so I could um, I could find all the funny parts. Except this was very unhelpful because I was like, um, <laughs> a, well, it's a lot of funny parts. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of funny parts. Um, it's just so great. She's a shapeshifter um, who decides to be the sidekick to a supervillain, but she's way more powerful than him. And super awesome. Um, and then a teen book. Have you read this one? On the oh, Edge of God. I've heard of it, but I haven't read it. It's so great. It is um, a little older, a little darker. Um, but I know there's some teenagers out here, so. And it's a, she's um, an autistic girl, and it's like an, there's like an end of the world event, and all the generation ships are leaving, and she's trying to get onto a generation ship um, and sort of prove that she's worth being on it. And it's just really, really well written. It's just a really unique and wonderful voice. And then a grown-up book, but it's not really a grown-up book. Everyone could read it, I think. Um, have you read Among Others? No. This is like my favorite book for writers to read, Ooh. actually. Writers and like people who love books. Um, it's super hard to describe, um, so it's by Joe Walton, and um, it's a little bit based on her life, but it's also got magic in it. Um, so it's about a girl who, her, her, she and her twin sister had to defeat their mother who was like evil and was trying to destroy the world. So her sister died in the process and she's left, but she won, she did stop her mother, um, and now she's like carrying on with her life. Um, and most of the book is her, it's like her diary. So she's reading, it's about the books that she's reading, and like how much she loves them and how they're getting her through everything. Oh my gosh. But like also there's fairies and magic and it's just so, it's hard to describe and it's so wonderful. I'm gonna go get that. <laughs> it, just makes, it makes you like believe in like the power of reading and like remember what it's like to be someone who just wants to be reading all the time. Not that we need to be reminded. That's <laughs> right. already do that. Speaking to the choir. <laughs> but yeah, it's really, it's among others and it's super wonderful. Thank you.